Hello everybody and welcome to my 20th Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do bulk uploads using an update query. So bulk uploads are very easy in Microsoft Access. Uh, all we need to do is create a query that will give us the, uh, to, that will change the information that we need. So you can download the new sample data uh, from the website if you click in the link below. Uh, and then you'll get a zip file with all these folders in it and just go to tutorial 20 and then my database 20 uh, and you'll have this data that I've got in here uh, and it's just got an extra table that gives me uh, the new user ages so in my users I'm going to be updating all of the user ages to the new ones that I've been provided um, not entirely relevant for age, it would normally be better with address and things like that because you know what people put your ages are by storing their date of birth instead of their age but um, anyway I'm going to show you how you update the data anyway so go to create and query design the same as normal and then we want the table that we're going to be updating and then also the table that we want to get our update data from and then we want to link those in uh, with our table relationship. So our user ID is matching up to our user ID. We then want to uh, we want to change the type of query that we're doing because we need our options down here changed. So if you go into the, the design ribbon up here, and then you want to select update query, uh, and then let's just close off our design ribbon because we don't need that anymore. So now you'll see that we've got an update to field instead of our group by. Uh, we don't need any of the group bys or, or whether it's visible or not because it's not going to show us any data. Uh, it's just going to allow us to uh, update the fields. So now we're going to update our users.userAge. So click and drag that down here. And then we just need to fill in what we want to put change it to so we put in our new ages and then dot and then user age uh, so we're updating the user age in this table with the user age in this table uh, now if we go into our data sheet view and uh, this is just going to give us a breakdown of all the pieces of information that are going to be updated so you don't have to go into here but i find it's useful just to go into your data sheet view uh, and check what the query is going to be updating first because if you know it's only supposed to update a couple of records and it's showing four in here then you know something's wrong uh, and uh, let's also put in some criteria so I only actually want to update uh, the age for Miley Smith so I only want the one with user ID 1003 uh, so in my criteria down here I'm going to put user users dot user id equals 1003 uh, and that's just going to mean that it only updates it for one person so if i go into my data sheet view we now see i've only got one piece of information being updated and uh, so in order to run this we could press on design and then there's just a run button here uh, and if we run that, it's going to say you're about to update one row, and I press yes. And if I go into my users, then Miley Smith's age has been updated. Now, if we took that criteria out and ran this, it's going to say you're about to update four rows. Uh, press yes and then when we look at our users table all of the ages have been updated uh, and you don't have to use that run you can if you save it down and then update ages and then it will come up and it'll have a little exclamation mark and pen here just signifying that it's an update query and whenever you uh, whenever you double click on it to run it it would to open it it's going to ask you if you want to run it i'm going to press yes it's going to tell me how many rows I'm updating. Now, lastly, but not leastly, you don't actually have to put in another table. So let's 
close this off and create a new one. I'm just going to create a query that adds one to their age. So you just run it each year or set it up to automatically run each year. So you go into query design and then users. And then we want to change to an update query. I'm then going to update the user age to users dot user age plus one and save this uh, add year age and now whenever we run this it's going to update all of the the fields and it's just going to add one to it uh, so that uh, did I do it properly design view I didn't put in the plus one Okay, so let's put in the plus one there. Uh, remember when you're writing these out that you actually have to write out on everything you want. You can't just pretend. To. Uh, press save and close and then run this. Modify the data, update four rows. And then now it's added one to all the ages. So don't make the same mistake I did and forget to do it. Every time you run it, it's gonna add one to the year. Uh, and uh, it's quite useful to have queries like this uh, and you can set them up to run automatically in your Outlook and things which is useful uh, which I'll come on to show you in later tutorial uh, but for now uh, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial